I'm not a New Year's resolution guy and I really don't want to use the term Vision 2020 because I know that it's been used by a few people and I like to be original, but um, it's, it feels really weird putting content down like this at the moment when we're in the middle of like the worst bushfires Australia has ever seen, depending on what camp you're in, and the potential of a world war <laughs> starting. I shouldn't you know, chuckle when I say that, but it's, there's so much craziness going on around the world and I feel like I'm about to have the best decade of my life. So obviously those external influences hopefully don't affect me in, a, in Adelaide. <laughs> they might, but I don't think I can stop. I can't stop planning what I'm doing because of external influences. I wouldn't do it if it was a competitor. I wouldn't do it if it was a legislative change. So I can't do it if there's potential for wars or you, know, you can't forecast for natural disasters. So, um, you know, I've been, I guess, battling health and alcoholism for, I'd say, more than my adult life. So I started drinking alcohol when I was 15 and pr drank pretty heavily through till now. And, you know, was smoking weed for a decent portion of 18 to 24 and probably have eaten pizza every week once or twice since... 12. <laughs> so there's been this, um, I guess, health crisis, if you want to get dramatic about it, around my alcohol consumption and my diet and all that. And I guess for anyone that's been following my content for long enough, they would have been like, fuck me, Clint's on an another diet, like, here we go. But um, I think it's, it's okay to fall down and get back up, as long as you keep getting back up. And I guess this one here for me, like how I feel right now about, I guess my relationship with alcohol especially, but with food and alcohol as a whole, is a lot clearer than it ever has been. Um, and it's because I've reached out and actually got help. So in the past I've had, you know, personal trainers or fitness coaches and I've had meal plans written and whatever and whatever and whatever. But, um, you know, I've been working, so I've had two coaches, I'm now working with a different coach, but I had some um, neuro-linguistic programming done, done around health and um, this all came off the back of the anxiety attacks I had in, well, Easter Sunday was probably the first real bad one, that's when I went to hospital when I thought I was having a heart attack, but I was like, there's obviously shit going on up here that's that needs to be dealt with. Um, the best solution I knew to that was hypnosis or neuro-linguistic programming it wasn't psychological therapy or like sitting in a chair and it's still sitting in a chair it's just different techniques more more solution based techniques rather than um just conversation and that's not fair to to traditional psychology but it's my blurb version of it so it's not for you it's not for me yeah. it, it works for a lot of other people and i know that because i know people that swear by it um, I've found for me that NLP and hypnosis is a, a, a more, it's a faster way of doing things and I'm always looking for shortcuts of how to do things. So, um, you know, for a long time I was setting rules around alcohol and food. Now the rules are a lot looser, so I can drink and I can eat what I want. I've just got goals around like, say, it's like a five, five of seven kind of thing. So. Um, five of seven days a week, I need to be 80% plant-based because I know it makes me feel better. Five of seven days a week, I need to meditate because I know it makes me feel better. It's really seven of seven for some of the, like hydration and meditation. The alcohol and the food's a bit more flexible, so it's 80% plant-based, five of seven alcohol-free. But today's my eighth day without alcohol and I'm now at a point where like, I know like I'm going to the cricket tonight and I can drink and it's at the stadium club and traditionally I'd go there and drink all night but I don't feel as attracted to it and it doesn't mean it's not going to be there. I'm sure that there'll be times when I'll have events and whatever but um, I feel a lot clearer around what I'm not doing because I think of the work that I've done with NLP and hypnosis and because I've got a much longer term goals now so I feel like I've wasted a lot of time. And it sounds funny to say that because I've got three beautiful children. I'm, we're about to ex have our 10 year wedding anniversary with like Celeste and I, and it's been an unbelievably good marriage. 
I've got two companies that are both successful. I've got a team of people underneath me that, you know, I think respect me <laughs> and enjoy working for me. Um, insert comments below, guys. But, um, and everything from the, like everyone will be like, wow, what a great life. You know, you've got everything you want. You've got the car you want. You can afford the food you want. You can go to holidays you want. But I wasted a lot of time being drunk for most of that. And so the quality of the relationships that I had with my wife were not as good as they could have been. And good on her for sticking by me because I'm sure there's times when she's been like, fuck you, like you're just doughy and you're hungover and you, you know, you're snappy and like it's, I'm, I'm a better person when I'm not drinking. And then, you know, the, like even simplistic stuff like having the kids and being able to drive down to a playground or go to the school and play with them after school rather than I'm too drunk, I can't drive, which was a regular occurrence in the times when I've been really drinking to, you know, operating at a more efficient and clearer level for business. So like taking this to the next level and having better relationships with the staff because I'm not doughy and cranky and whatever else. So I just had this, I guess, off the back of that um, anxiety attack and then I was drinking really heavily. So from, I guess, I can't completely work out why I had, was having anxiety attacks and obviously I think that's part of the whole anxiety thing because if you knew you could start to deal with it but there was about 10 things happening at the same time and that was ranging from like family health issues to trying to buy railways to friends that were having issues like real big issues with things to um, me having this internal crisis about dying like I think there was something there going on because I was seeing so much happening and then I was starting to worry about my health and then that created anxiety and then kind of triggered me to go see someone. So then I reached out um, and I'd known, I kind of have this weird thing where I know where to go get help when I need it and I leave it to the last minute. So like, I'm like, well, if I get cancer, I know I could just go do a water fast in Bali for 25 days and most people survive cancer from that. So I'll just wait <laughs> rather than living a better life now, right? So right, so now it's more, I guess, more balanced. And I think now having clear, and this is jumping around a lot, but that's me, having clearer um, expectations on myself around my goals and better time. Right? So we're planning better, so I'm not getting anxiety because you're like, okay, we're going to do a podcast in a month. Let's plan it now rather than me going, fuck, we, like, I feel guilty because Trent's not working and he wants to do this good work and I haven't booked a podcast. And now I feel guilty because I'm having to stay back and pack an order because we didn't plan it well and so I'm not so seeing... It's a cycle because you're behind the eight ball. All the time. Yeah. And, I've, and, and the reason why it's worked is because my whole life I've got away with it. My whole life, all through school. Didn't do the homework, got it done in the morning because one of my mates did, copied yeah. them. Talked my way out of it. Like I've always been able to get away with it. But, you know, we're approaching a $10 million, I guess, group of companies now, or I'm approaching a 10 million, I, I say we because I consider it a we, but I'm approaching being the director of $10 million worth of business. And I can't do that anymore. Like there's too many people that have too many expectations on me around communication. Like I don't, I might not see Luke at railways for 10 days or any of the guys down there, or, um, you know, Kate might not see me for five days. And if I don't have better plans and better communication around that then they can't work at their best and then I can't climb to a hundred million dollars I'm going to be stuck at 10 million dollars which sounds stupid but that's my goal so all of that coupled together made me go well I need to be the very best version of myself which sounds so fucking Instagram model bullshit but I do and I don't want to get to the end of it all and look back and go you know you did pretty well like you know your kids have grown up and become empathetic caring you know positive members of society you and celeste had this great marriage you know you achieved these things you traveled you saw the world you helped a few causes you built this business to 15 million dollars a year um you should be really happy with that you know you owned your house you had a holiday house like all the stuff that you know the modern 2.3 kids you know australian mum and dad have their river and fucking their like whatever that is but then no deep down in my i guess whatever bits you have, your soul or your heart or your brain or whatever, or your God, if, if you believe in, the, in a God, that your God kind of goes, well, you know, you could have done this, yeah. you know. That, it was some, like, I don't want to look back and go, you mailed it in. You fucking, just like your whole fucking childhood, you mailed it in. You, you did 
you know, you've got this talent, which I believe I do, and I don't. I know that can probably sound arrogant, but I I believe I'm very talented at um, running a business and, with humans, and I don't want to get to the end of it and go, well, I did okay, you know. I want it to be more like, holy fuck, like that. Remember when you set a hundred million dollar goal, and ne like last year we did five hundred and eighty million dollars just in Australia, like that's more what I want. Remember when you said you wanted to be an engaged father? Yeah, and you took that time and you went on a retreat with Jack for two weeks then and then you, you know, you've gone with Connor to baseball, this thing, and Lucy's playing um, NBL, like WNBL, and you know, you've, you've spent that or, or not, whatever their happy place is, you know, that they've you know, studied and become artists or doctors or like being able to spend that time rather than just bringing up kind and just generally good humans. Like what's the, what's the limit of that? And if I'm drinking or not meditating or not exercising or not hydrated or eating the wrong foods, I can't fire, like I'm, a, I'm probably like, you know, a, a seven out of 10 me, when I know I can be a 10 out of 10 me, but my seven out of 10 me, super, depending on your measurement of success, supersedes a lot of people's tens. Mm. Because I can run a $10 million company drunk and I can, you know, whatever, but, because nothing's hurt me yet, right? So I haven't had a health scare, I haven't had a bankruptcy scare, I haven't had a whatever, you know, like a death in my immediate family. And that, based on the numbers, it's inevitable that something's gonna come that's gonna really challenge me. I can only ch combat those challenges and take the company to the next level because you don't know what you don't know. I, I'm, I'm not sure what I have to experience yet, but I do know that if I'm, you know, the very best version of myself, I've got the very best chance to survive whatever that is. Mm -hmm. And if I have that happen and then fight it and fucking lose, what do you do, man? You did the best you could. Like you, of all the modern knowledge you had around drugs and alcohol and hydration and, you know, global impact and emotional meditation and support and all that shit, like, you know, we've got access to a lot of information and you can believe what you want or not what you want or whatever, but for what I believe, and I know if I'm not meeting those and ticking every one of those boxes and then I lose a fight, I didn't go, like it's like those UFC guys that go in and they're like, they're on a lot of wins and they're just like, yeah, I fucking probably could have trained a bit harder. I wanna know that at the end of that fight, even if I lose, if I don't hit 100 mil, it's not because I didn't try my hardest, it's because, you know, it was, I tried my hardest and I missed the goal. Like, so that's kind of where that's all at. So I don't even know where the fuck this was going, but, I guess uh, Jody encouraged me to talk about my health goals publicly because I perform better when there's an audience. Um, and if, you know, we, like, I've been part of all these challenges and stuff's fizzled and to my friends, like my mate Goody, he's just like, oh, here we go again. Like, you know, I'll be like, can you donate some money to this? And he's like, once you do it, because I'm not prepaying you, motherfucker. So there's like, I've got unfinished business. We had a, um, a weight loss challenge with um, for, to raise money for Beyond Blue. Now, I didn't finish that, but I will because it's it's sitting there in the back of my mind like it's unfinished business. So I need to get down to that weight, and then I'll pay the rest of the money. You know, I don't expect anyone else to do it, but you know, I was, my goal was to raise five grand, and we got to whatever two grand or fifteen hundred. I'd have to check, but I'll sort that out. You know, it's on me. It's on me. It's on me. So um, this this video wasn't designed to. Um, ask for any more, um, I guess, support or money or whatever. It's just for people to know that I'm still trying to get there and that it's okay. And because there's, I'm sure there's plenty of other people that are suffering from anxiety or alcoholism. And, you know, plenty of people will be like, no, no, I'm not an alcoholic. Like, I don't drink in the morning. That's not the, that's not the fucking thing. Like, you know, I was drink dr like, pretty much September through to December, I drank every day. And I'm talking like 20 to 30 standard drinks, which makes like your eyes go like that. But I, right now I could drink that whole bottle of fucking rum and be fine. Like I'd be drunk, but I could still run this business. I could serve customers. I could fucking ring people. I couldn't drive, but that's only because it's illegal. If it wasn't illegal, I'd drive. You know what I mean? I'd consider myself good enough to do all those things. So I guess I want people to know that it's okay it's okay to fall down, but you have to get back up. And that's all that matters. You know, being a fucking human being today is really fucking hard. 
you know, with all the external pressures from your family and society and the internet and like Instagram and fucking everyone's fucking watching, now's the time to get like just back inside your head and just work out that what's right for you, what works for you and not measure yourself against other people and play your game, but play your game to the best of your ability. And that's what for me, like 2020 to 2030, like I really, I have very detailed, strong plans to get our company to $100 million inside the next decade. Now, so that's me saying 10 million to 100 million in not under 9.99 years. Do you know what I mean? Like that's fucking mental. And people have done it, but it wouldn't be in the high percentages. And I think I can do it. So that's me. I'm not measuring that against anyone else. That's my goal. Stay inside your head, work out what your goals are. And then if you need help, I think that's probably the other big one. If you need help, ask for it. And it's not, not everyone can afford NLP or hypnosis, but you can download books from great, you know, I guess, authors of people that have been through it. You can steal the book if you really want. I mean, you can rip any of that shit from a torrent site. So you don't have, if, even if you've got nothing, everyone's got a fucking phone. So I guess, yeah, like I said, it was just, this was really designed to show people, to, to update people with where I'm at, because we haven't made a lot of content about what I'm doing. Um, to update the content about where I'm at and to then let everyone know that, you know, as even for someone like me who everything looks like it's all on the outside, you know, there was anxiety, there was a fucking, I wasn't sleeping, I was going to hospital, I was drinking heavily. And that's, I think that's always there, right? Like, you know, and I'd, I've never been to Alcoholics Anonymous, but I've heard people talk about it, like 1,200 days sober, but I'm an alcoholic, you know, mm -hmm. because once you've felt that, you've, you've been there, you're there. So, um, yeah, that's it. So 2020 for me, I have a ridiculous amount of um, things that I want to achieve. It's going to be a very interesting year for people that work for me and that live with me <laughs> because me on all cylinders is at a whole nother fucking level around my clarity and what I want done and how fast I want stuff done because I'm like, I asked you to do this, why isn't it done? And it, I love that most of the guys that work here know that mm. and that they're like, it's just clean, just, <laughs> just try and get it done. But I'm trying to create a better business for all of us, you know, opportunities like if you like working here and you're like, yeah, I like working here, but I want to be able to travel more, or I want to be able to earn more money or I want to work four days a week or whatever, the better the business becomes, the more chances that you or them or whoever have to live that life. So. Um, I'm very optimistic about this year. I'm very optimistic about the human race, even with what's going on. Mm. Um, so I guess in closing, I wish everyone a really happy and positive 2020. Um, please try to live, run your race, um, live your life, be kind. Um, and if you need I guess, to be pointed in the direction of someone that could help if you are struggling with something. Um, I, all my information is available at clint.com.au. Um, you can text me, email me, call me, Instagram message me, Facebook messaging me, whatever else is going to be on there, whatever it's going to be on there. Um, artificially intelligence, like hack my brain and contact me, whatever it is whenever this video is being watched. Um, but the difference between, I guess, the, 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 the people that get it done and the people that don't get it done are the people that do what they know they're meant to do. So that's a very convoluted sentence, but yeah, that is all. Thank you.